Okay, hey everybody, this is Jim again, coming at you from Japan. Um, hey, if you've been enjoying these videos and you like uh, hearing this scuba information, maybe it's useful to some of you, please go ahead and pound down on that subscribe button now. All right, okay, today's topic is gonna be about uh, dive shorts. And I feel, as you're moving up the scuba food chain, right, you're gonna be gathering more tools and maybe toys, and you're gonna need pockets to put that in, right? Now, if you're wearing a traditional BC, probably those come with some sorts of pockets, usually, right? Unless they're ex incredibly Spartan ones. But generally, your jacket BCs are gonna have some sort of pockets to keep your, you know, maybe, who knows, a dive light, uh, you know, SMB, your, your wet notes, things like that. However, if you're diving in a back plate in a wing, like most of our group does, right? Pockets are one thing. You know, it's known for having the least amount of stuff and that, that comes with pluses and minus, right? One of the things that it's minus is pockets, right? And so um, those folks who are diving that, if they want to have pockets, which, which we do, it's either going to have to be on your exposure protection, your dry suit or your wetsuit, or uh, it's going to have to, or some sometimes pockets, you know, you can put them into the webbing different places. Some folks go that route um, or pocket shorts. For dry suit, that's usually a pretty good option, right? My dry suit does have pockets. They're okay, right? Uh, some dry suits with the pockets, they kind of sag down when you undo your, your unit. That's a little bit of a downside for some, for some uh, makers. Um, but dry suits do okay. Wet suits, in my experience, do not do so well, right? Um, one problem is they're very often sewn in and from pulling up the suit, you know, when you're putting it on, it'll rip just above the pocket or beside the pocket, right, as you're putting it on. That's happened to me a couple times, very annoying. Other pockets are glued on. Sometimes that works out, sometimes that doesn't. Um, you know, that, that can be a problem. So I have less luck with pockets on wet suits than on dry suits. The dry suits are pretty durable. It's just a matter of if they're gonna sag or not. Now. Uh, what are you going to put in there? Well, as you're moving up the, the, the food chain, the, the scuba food chain, right, for example, to advanced, I think advanced divers should have a spool and uh, an SMB, depending on their environment. Our dive environment, those are, those are a, a pretty good pair of tools to have, right? And you're going to want to put it somewhere. You know, a lot of people, they'll clip it on, on their, their BC or on somewhere. It, it's just really in the way and it could be a hazard, right? It's in the way. Another thing you might want is a cutting device, right? Some cutting devices, right, mount somewhere. Other folks will put a pair of scissors, a cheap pair of EMT scissors, uh, EMT scissors in their pocket. That's a great option, right? And a pocket's a really good place for that. So the last thing is, right, some notes, some dive notes, uh, especially for dive leaders. That is super, super uh, handy. But you know, you can have notes about dives, uh, air consumption notes, uh, air management notes, rock bottom figures, common uh, commands. Uh, some things are very complicated thoughts you want to uh, communicate to someone else. Dive notes is a good place to have that, right? Okay, so let's have a look at a pair of shorts, right? As you may know, on the market, there are a number of different pocket shorts. Uh, as well, some people just go out to the store and buy a nice set of canvas or heavy cotton uh, cargo pant shorts and wear those over their uh, wetsuit. That's very possible as well. However, a uh, few manufacturers make purpose-built uh, shorts, all right? Um, the ones I've used in the past are Highland, right? Highland Mills. Today, I have the Apex ones, which are really, really nice. They're very similar to the Scuba Pro ones that I've seen. And uh, I'll, I'll let you have a look here. So here they are from the side, right? There's the pocket. And uh, from the front, a nice feature is it's got this, this belt buckle holding it up. That's often a problem, right? They have strings that are not so, not so nice. On this side, right, it's got another pocket. And in the back, this is really nice. So the back, you know, you're sitting down and very often in scuba, you're sitting in not so nice places, right? Cement rocks our environment lava rocks right they're the sharpest things things around so you're sitting on stuff that's not so good so these pocket shorts very often will wear out which is great better they wear out than your wetsuit right probably your shorts are less cost than your nice wetsuit right well on the back the apex one they have what does it say it says du dura grip 
right? But it's kind of like a rubberized uh, surface covering the whole back of these shorts, making it really grippy, right? You're not going to slide around and uh, really durable. So this is a very nice feature of, of these shorts, right? Um, so let's have a look. So in the waist, I mentioned there's this belt, right, with a, with a nice durable buckle. And there's also adjustments, right, to make it uh, kind of like a rough fit, I guess. And then uh, the buckle will be the fine fit. Now, let's look at the most important. That's the pockets, right? I like these pockets. They're really nice, right? So um, they expand right these side flaps will open up and then allow it to open up and if we if we open up the top right so it's got two rings here people have mixed feelings on the rings i know the dir dir guys feel that well you know if your bolt snap fails you know you want to be able to cut it or pull it loose and so yeah you know point taken maybe that's not you could still put a bungee loop in here right but inside the pocket right in the back section right there's a place for wet notes right perfect right that wet notes pocket is going to fit right down there and sometimes that's a little bit of an issue you have uh your smb in your spool also you have some some dive notes you might have a cutting device it's nice to be able to separate those items right so they're not all tangled together right and then the main section of the pocket you could fit a nice smb and if we opened up these these flaps right now that pocket is huge, actually. I believe the correct expression would be cavernous, all right? Yeah, it's huge, right? And we can uh, put those back. And of course, there are drainage, drainage holes at the back of any good pocket, right? There it is. Okay, so that's, that's how it works. Uh, let's, let's have a quick look at them on me. I don't know why. All right, so having a look here, Right now, these this is a size large. These come in uh, small, medium, large, and I think extra large. I'll double check on that. Um, right, these side right adjusters allow you to get a, a rough fit on there. Then this is this buckle is going to come back. Let's look on the whoops. Let's look on the other side. Right, same deal. Same deal over here. Right, it's got the Velcro, and then it has an adjustable buckle here. Right to snap into there. Now this is just about right for me, the large, and I'll just adjust that a little bit tighter. Of course, this isn't over my wetsuit. You know, wetsuit, I would I would need something uh, a little less uh, tight, right? All right, so here they on me they come down just below my knee, right? And I have some short legs, <laughs> so taller guys would would be doing okay. So those are pretty nice. And and by the way. These aren't making my ass look big. Actually, my ass is big, so it's not, it's not the shorts fault. So, there we go. All right, very, very nice. Yeah, all right. There they are, the Apex uh, pocket shorts. Really, really nice. I do think, I'm gonna have them up on the website soon. Uh, I do think they're a little bit expensive. Um, they are a really nice product, though. They'll probably outlast your wetsuit, probably, right? And uh, if you're moving up the ladder, if you're an advanced diver, uh, rescue diver, definitely if you're a pro, you want to have pockets. Hope that helped you out. Catch you next time. See you on the beach. Bye-bye. Okay, thanks for watching. All right, well, if you like this kind of thing and uh, you think you'd like to see more, uh, I think there's a subscribe button right around here somewhere. And if you are coming to Japan and you'd like to hook up with us and dive, I think right around here there's a spot where you can click, come and have a look at the webpage and see what kind of events are going on. All right, thanks a lot. See you on the beach. Bye.